from the Queen City of the South, I'm Triple J. Now today we have a Pokemon moveset showcase, and it's been a really long time since I had one. And I hope this will be useful to the person watching or to you watching. And today for VGC, I want to showcase to you the bulky, tailwinding, burning, water type, even though it's a water type burning, the true tank, Luminion. Luminion is a pure water type Pokemon and it doesn't have amazing stats, but it's typing water, usually water types are usually the bulky ones like uh, Milo Milotic, which you'll see later. HP like 69, defense like 76, special defense like 86, but you can see the base speed of Luminion is 91 and that, that itself actually tells you that this Pokemon is decently fast and you can see later this advantage will come into play. For this uh, showcase, Pokemon showcase, I will showcase the defensive Luminion, and ha trust me, having an offensive Luminion ain't that good with really low like stats. So you have 252 HP, you invest in EVs, and 252 defense, having a bold nature Luminion. So this will be a physically defensive Luminion. So you can see there, you have um, 176 HP, 140 defense, and 107. Uh, special defense with 111 speed. Actually, that's quite fast. For the moveset of Luminion, you will have Scald, Tailwind, Protect, and Sickle for this showcase. You'll be using these because um, for Scald, just to generally burn anything that goes into your, into your way. And Tailwind, well, being a fast Pokemon water type, you can actually set up Tailwind decently fast with unlike other Pokemon. Um, protect just to, you know, stall, ta stall a turn just in case you want to see what the opponent does. And Tickle, which you will see in the ending of this video, um, how good Tickle can be <laughs> against your opponent. The ability for um, the Minion is Storm Drain, and this is what makes the Minion actually an interesting support Pokemon in VGC 2015 or VGC maybe in the future. It is quite useful. It has water immunity. I know it makes probably makes sense. Like it's water type, it has Storm Drain, so it should have water immunity. But that's at a certain generation, it didn't have that water immunity. Um, I think it still could get damaged by water moves, but it like sucked in the water anyway but got damaged anyway so now uh, it's fixed so now it'll be water immunity so any any attack since it's vgc and vgc is like doubles so any attack that goes to the field um whether surf i don't know with surf i haven't tried it but if for example aqua jet and onto your let's say rotom heat so your partner for the minion is let's say rotom heat and opposing field as a zoomeril tries to aqua jet your rotom heat all water moves will go to your luminion so including your like your pokemon if you have a water type pokemon like a lapras for example try to scald the opponent and the water your water type move scald will go into luminion whether that's a good thing or a bad thing that's really interesting though so it has like, it has like a follow me kind of um water move uh, if you do get hit with a water move, or if uh, somebody gets hit with a water move in the field in VGC, with, which is doubles again, uh, Luminion absorbs it and increases its special attack by plus one. So that's something to consider. This is something that I didn't know about it. Water type moves will never miss the Pokemon with this ability. So if Luminion has Storm Drain, and let's say it uses like evasion moves, since VGC has it legal, so let's say it uses double team, I'm not sure if it gets double team, but anyway, if somebody uses a water move, it will 100% hit Luminion. So evasion, eh, not really that useful for Luminion. What can Tanky Luminion do for you? You can do several things. One, protect your fire types. So if you have a fire type Pokemon, let's say Rotom Heat or even um, Heatran, you can actually put uh, Luminion beside it and anybody tries to attack those Pokemon, guarantees protects it in terms of water type moves. Maybe not against fighting, but since it is a bulky physical Luminion, it should take it really well. By the way, the item I didn't sh I didn't manage to put it in is Citrus Berry, so that it'll last longer in battle. The minion can also do Tailwind. So, if your Pokemon like are slow, like uh, Mega Heracross, or maybe you just slash, actually Mega Heracross benefits from Tailwind since once it Mega Evolves, it's like loses speed for some reason as it Mega Evolves. So I don't know, maybe his arms are too heavy to move around so he can't like, eh, it's impossible for you to slow down. I don't know what's the logic behind Pokemon anymore. But yeah, um, with Tailwind, since it has 91 base speed, 
Luminia and I mean, your um, Heracross could go faster, so anything... I mean, like, you can outspeed maybe a plus one Salamence. Maybe. But you can outspeed a regular Mega Salamence. Mega Sal a regular Mega Salamence with Tailwind up, so that's actually quite amazing. Uh, you can, like, outspeed Cardivore, maybe Choice Scarf, can you? Because it's double the speed. I think, yeah, 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 you can. I'm sure you can. Aegis Slash, really good also. Uh, under Tailwind, there are some Pokemon really good under Tailwind. And the minion can do that for you too. The minion can burn everything, even though it's a water type. Because of that move, Scald. So any, like, anything that threats your team, maybe a Lando, just Scald a thing. And remember, we do have Tickle, and Tickle, you can also, like, reduce attack. Tickle is like reduce attack and defense of opponents. So let's say you have a Lando opponent, Lando T, you can just scald into it if you want to burn it, or you could just be sh if you want to be sure for getting an attack drop, you can use Tickle, which, which reduces attack and defense of a Pokemon that you use it on. So if you use it on Lando T, its attack will be reduced by one stage and its defense will be reduced by one stage. So your Pokemon with like physical moves, say Heracross, will hit for neutral if it got intimidated. I hope that makes sense. Oh, and the minion can take in water attacks and boost the minion's special attack by one, which I did mention earlier, and therefore like Milotic, which is very common VGC today, I don't know, it's common like this month at least, and like they're gonna be afraid to use water moves. So your Rotom Heat can Thunderbolt all at once, your anything with a uh, fire type ground type even can come in and have no problem at all with Luminion in the field. What can Luminion not do for you? It can't take electric moves. It can't take electric moves for you because it's a physically defensive um physically defensive. It can probably take a thunder punch but not a thunderbolt. Uh, grass moves. It can take physical grass moves but not so much Special. In a natural, the minion can't comfortably, comfortably take special attacks, which is quite sad. But you know, no Pokemon is ever perfect. But seriously, though, don't expect the minion to Oko any Pokemon or one-hit KO any Pokemon from full health. Never expect that from the minion. Uh, don't rely having the minion as the only water type in your team. I've done that mistake. And sometimes you can't bring the minion for some reasons, and it's good to have another water type in the team, at the back of your team maybe, so as something that just in case you can't bring a uh, minion, so don't rely on it. Trick Room sucks, since you're on Tailwind. Or you rely on Tailwind. This team will shine if your uh, team is weak against water, and you have like a bunch of like water um, ground types or fire types, but provided, provided your opponent carries water Pokemon, then yeah, this Pokemon will shine. Uh, if you get rid of Pokemon's we I mean Luminion's weaknesses on the field, um, let's say there there are a lot um, grass types that could give Luminion a big problem, and I'll show that later in the Calx. I'll show you Cal Calx. Breloom is also a problem. Um, Breloom is a big problem to Luminion, so if you manage to get Bullet Seed with Mach Punch, it's a problem. However, even with Tailwind, even with your um, increase in speed, it's still good to have some priority in your team. Maybe Talonflame would be a good addition uh, just to deal damage and for something that um, Luminion can't handle. Especially with Tickle, which lowers the defense of your opponent. Physical attackers like Talonflame and Breloom will have a heyday with you tickling everything in the team on, on his team. So let's do some calc, so just, just so you can see if, you know, can it really tank? For a Jolly uh, 252 attack, uh, Mega Kangaskhan, if you add the max roll of Fake Out and Return, you get a 104.4%. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna die. But, but, with the item Citrus Berry, your Luminion is guaranteed to survive, because since it fakes out, then it attacks once, which probably is around 30%, so that'll be like 60%. So your Citrus Berry will activate, and you should survive, um, even an Adamant, or I hope, yeah, even an Adamant, um, even an, without a Power Punch, of course, even an Adamant attack from uh, Mega Kangaskhan, probably not Double Edge, but Return and Fake Out, you should be able to take on, take it on. For an Adamant, Lando T, and Choice Scarf, you can take in an Earthquake, because Earthquake is actually a really good move, for, or probably the best move, because it's Stab. Uh, on 
uh, land OT. So um, you have a 67.6 chance to Oko. So you actually, it's it's there's some possibility you won't get to it Keyhoed, and you won't because of Citrus Berry with an adamant um, tro uh, choice banded. Lando T, it is guaranteed a two-hit KO, but I highly suggest you recock it, because with the Citrus Berry, if you get a ro low roll, I think you can survive, probably with a slim chance, uh, against a choice banded Adam and Lando T. If Luminion decides to fight back with zero um, special defense for HP, uh, Lando T, you have a guaranteed two-hit KO against it. Provided it has 4 HP and 0 special defense investment, yeah, you should get rid of it somehow. Uh, crunch. If you're fighting against a Jolly Mega Tyranitar, Jolly, it should do absolutely nil. And it has a very small chance of knocking you out even after Sandstorm damage. So if it's a physical Mega Titar, then it should be fine. If it's probably a special, that would be something else. Adamant plus 2, I mean 252 attack, um, of course, Adamant plus plus attack. Life Orb Terrakion, um, it's a guaranteed 2 hit KO, but if it gets a ro low roll, again, there's a possibility you could survive it. Adam and 252, plus of course. Aerial 8 Mega Salamence, it's a guaranteed 2 hit KO, and I, I think your Citrus Berry will not help here, probably, because Mega Salamence, pretty, pretty hard body. <laughs> Adam and Choice and Talonflame for the priority. This could be a problem, but I think with Citrus Berry you will survive two Brave Birds and you could scald it back for a guaranteed two-hit KO. So you should actually defeat a Talonflame 1v1 in theory should be, unless you get crit. Adam and Mega Blaziken, my gosh. The only attack it can do unless like it wants to close combat, which lowers it. Does it? Yeah, it gets close combat, does it? High jump kick. Anyway, if it tries to stone edge you, because let's just say it has stone edge, it is guaranteed 3 hit KOs, so it'll take a really long time for it to knock out Luminion because it's physically defensive. And if Luminion decides to fight back, then it's a guaranteed 2 hit KO, so Luminion can actually take out his own. Take out, like, other opponents. But nothing is ever, ever, ever perfect. That's why you bring, like, other Pokemon to help or support uh, Luminion, because, you know, it's a support, then you support it. Eh, support, support each other. <laughs> Modest 252, um, Life Orb, Pixelate, um, Sylveon. I don't know why it doesn't say Sylveon there. Using Hyper Voice, it is a guaranteed to hit KO. However, with, um, Life, I mean, with Citrus Berry, it shouldn't be a to hit KO. With Life Orb, that would be the question though. Again, this is the disadvantage of a uh, physically defensive Pokemon, because if you have like all physical defense and you can't take special defense, I mean, you can't get, have everything. Um, for a uh, relaxed Amoongus with zero special attack investment, it has a big chance to two hit KO. However, again, with Citrus Berry, which isn't in the calculation, you should be able to survive it. Well, every, almost everything is like a three hit KO with Luminion if you play it right. But if you like have a lot of special attack investment from the, the opponent, let's say a modest 212 um, Rotom Wash with Citrus Berry, so it's a mix attacker slash tanky with Citrus Berry, it's a really big chance of one hit KOing you. So like Citrus Berry will not activate if you get knocked out right away. Anything lower than that, and let's say it's timid, then you should be able to survive it. If it's higher than 212, and it's a guaranteed. Knockout guaranteed, or you know, it like 70 percent, 60 percent. So, as it goes higher and higher, Minion will have a lesser chance of survival. A bulky thunderous with four special attack, it guarantees a two hit KO. I think with the citrus, it doesn't help that much. And nobody runs, I don't think anybody runs four special attack thunderous unless they really, really want to be bulky. So, I don't think so. Zapdos is a really big problem, and I've, I've tried to find a spread that. Um, understands like Zap I, I can I can understand Zapdos with, and I just like wrote two one six four special attack Zapdos because it's a Tailwind Zapdos with Citrus Berry, so unless it's a two five two modest Zapdos and it should knock you out in one hit, but if it doesn't and if it like less than one hundred sixty four special attack and it's not modest it's still timid, you should be able to survive it like not not three attacks probably even four but I think three attacks would be okay with even with Citrus Berry so the minion really showing that it's a threat. For a Jolly 252 attack, Technician Breloom, this is a problem because uh, it does get like Bullet Seed 
and bullet seed is grass type so aluminium is very weak to it and it, if it attacks like three or four times it's a really big chance and I have 3.8 chance to one-hit KO your Luminion, even though it's physically defensive. Modest 252 Special Attack Mega Venusaur, you can actually survive a single Giga Drain from Mega Venusaur, which is amazing. However, if it's Mega Charizard Y, Modest, you have no way of survival. Uh, for Ferrothorn, um, you can survive. 12.5 um, chance of one-hit KOing, provided it doesn't have any special, uh, any attack investment, and it has like 204 attack. 204 attack. It has sp attack investment, but not a whole lot. So you can survive with a small chance of knocking out, even with an adamant, brave plus. I mean, 252 plus attack. Ferrothorn will still not be able to knock you out, and if it does, it has a 12.5 chance of knocking out the minion. Minion, really strong. You can see some of the photos and some of the places where I got the pictures. If you wondered where I got them, and for their battle replays, I'll show you a few battles, and it will really show how strong the minion can be with some support. I have played games where Luminion absolutely sucked and I couldn't bring Luminion at all because my opponent for some reason doesn't have any water types at all, like no water types, so what's the point? Like, I could bring it in for tickle support and there are times that Luminion can be useful but you really have to find the right Pokemon for Luminion to be with so say Talonflame, Talonflame, it would be a really good partner because you have tickle and you can lower the uh, special defense, uh, the defense of your opponent. So Tickle and Talfin would be an okay combination. I just I found that Mega Heracross and Luminion are really good together, and I think you will see. You saw it in some videos that I use it together. So now you will see it in some of the replays that I managed to gather, and how good Luminion is. Maybe in the future there'll be a Mega Luminion. But anyway, like the video, please. <laughs> if you like it and you learned something from it, subscribe to show your support to the channel and. Up next, battle replays. See you in the next video.